Hello, in this work you will learn how to analyze solutions by spectrophotometry. First, let's introduce some useful theoretical notions. When passing through transparent substances, the light intensity decreases as it is absorbed by that substance. The physical quantity that quantifies the light absorption is called absorbance. In the case of polychromatic light, different colors are being absorbed differently, depending on the composition of that substance. Thus, each transparent solution has a specific absorption spectrum, described as the variation of absorption with light's wavelength. The absorption spectrum shape depends on the nature of the solution, while the value of absorption is directly proportional with its concentration. Spectrophotometry is the scientific method for obtaining absorption spectra of substances, aiming to determine their chemical composition. The spectrophotometric method is widely used in medicine to identify clinical compounds and measure their concentration, to measure the speed of some biochemical reactions, and many others. Using this method, multiple biochemical compounds from human serums can be identified, such as transaminases, creatinine, urea, ions, glucose, protein, hemoglobin, and so on. Spectrophotometry is also employed to measure, in vivo and non-invasive, the concentration of oxygenated and reduced hemoglobin through a specific method called pulse oximetry. In the first part of this work, you will determine the absorption spectrum of copper sulfate dissolved in water. In the second part, you will determine the unknown concentration of a copper sulfate solution by the spectrophotometric method. For this, you will use a spectrophotometer two solutions of copper sulfate, one of known concentration 2% and the other of unknown concentration, distilled water, measuring cuvettes, Berzelius glass, glass bottle for mixing solutions, a grided pipette and paper tissues. For starting, connect the spectrophotometer to the power outlet. Remove any remaining cuvettes from the measuring compartment and close the lid. Turn on the spectrophotometer by pressing the button on its back panel. Wait a few minutes for calibration. During this automatic procedure, the display shows the message CALL. In the first part of the experiment, you will obtain the absorption spectrum of copper sulfate within the 2% solution. For that, you will measure its absorbance in the 400 to 700 nanometer wavelength range. Since you will perform measurements only in the visible domain, it is recommended to turn off the deuterium lamp of the spectrophotometer in order to prolong its operation lifetime. Press the PIXIC button multiple times until the message DUT appears on display then press the set button once. Using the readout button, set the spectrophotometer to work in the absorbance mode. Before starting any measurements, wash the cuvettes with distilled water and wipe the excess water of the outer surfaces using a paper tissue. Handle the cuvette in such a way that you don't touch the surfaces traveled by light. The cuvette has two parallel transparent surfaces and two with striations. Always grab the cuvettes by the superior side of the striated faces. Fill a cuvette with pure solvent, which in this case is distilled water, up to about one centimeter from its top edge. In the same way, Fill another cuvette with the 2% studied solution. Using the plus and minus buttons, set the wavelength values. For this experiment, the first determination will be performed at the wavelength of 400 nanometers. 
open the lid of the spectrophotometer and place in the sample holder the cuvette containing the pure solvent. Attention! Place the cuvettes in such a way that the two transparent faces are perpendicular to the light propagation direction. Close the lid. Press the zero button. The display should show the value of 0, 0.000 for the absorbance of distilled water at that wavelength. Attention! If the display shows the error message of minus 999, ignore it and continue with the calibration by pressing the zero button. Replace the distilled water cuvette with the one containing the studied solution. Close the spectrophotometer lid and read the copper sulfate absorbance value from the display. Write down the value in the corresponding table. Repeat all the steps and measure the absorbance of copper sulfate for all the wavelengths in the table. In the second part of the experiment, using the spectrophotometer, you will determine the unknown concentration of a copper sulfate solution. For this, you will use distilled water and the 2% copper sulfate solution as reference. Fill another cuvette with the stock solution of unknown concentration. Set the wavelength for which the copper sulfate absorbance is maximum. Since absorbance is directly proportional with the concentration of a solution, in this case, even a slight change in solution's concentration will visibly change its absorbance. The concentration variation can be more difficult or impossible to observe at wavelengths where the absorbance is low. For this demonstration, let's consider the maximum absorbance is at 700 nanometers. Using the readout button, set the device in the concentration working mode. In this moment, the spectrophotometer enters in a calibration protocol for the concentration measurements. Place the distilled water filled cuvette in the spectrophotometer and press the zero button. Replace the distilled water cuvette with the one containing the 2% reference solution. Press once the set CF button. Using the plus and minus buttons, set the value of 2.000 corresponding to the concentration of the reference solution. With the plus and minus buttons, you can change the value of the digit in the left of the decimal point. Set consequently all the digits by moving the decimal point position using the DEC shift button. When you obtain the value of 2.000 on display, press again the set CF button for confirmation. Place inside the spectrophotometer the cuvette containing the stock solution of unknown concentration. Read its concentration from the display. Attention! Keep the spectrophotometer in this working mode until the end of this experiment. In the following, using stock solution and distilled water, prepare dilutions of copper sulfate solutions of concentration 1, 2.7, 4.2, and 5%. Calculate the amounts that must be mixed using the rectangle method, as follows. Draw a rectangle. Next to its two left corners, write the concentrations of the two starting solutions. In this case, you are using solutions of 0%, distilled water and 9.3% the stock solution. Draw the two diagonals of the rectangle. Where the diagonals meet, write the concentration of the solution you wish to prepare. Let's use 4.2%. Subtract the values 
written along each diagonal and write the results in the right corners of the rectangle. Thus, results how many parts of each solution needs to be mixed in order to obtain the solution of desired concentration. In this case, considering one part being equal to 1 ml, you will mix 5.1 ml of distilled water with 4.2 ml of stock solution. Using a graded pipette, measure the volumes of the two solutions and mix them in a bottle. Using the same pipette, transfer the prepared dilution into a cuvette, which you'll then place into the spectrophotometer. Read the concentration value shown on the display and write it in the second table. Repeat the steps to prepare the other three dilutions. Determine their concentrations and fill the remaining values in the table. Attention! Don't cast the stock and the 2% solutions. Pour them back into their containers. However, you must cast the prepared dilutions in the sink. Once the experiment is finished, rinse with distilled water all the recipients used and turn off the spectrophotometer. Finally, represent graphically the variation of absorbance with the wavelength.